and this thing so i'm just going to test it out right now along with you guys so as you can see whole thing opens up and what do we have here yeah there's like multiple layers here so take out this part instructions and then the rest of the, the parts. So I'll just sort of take out everything one by one. It comes with a, with a fallow focus. Let's take it out. Well, it looks pretty, pretty smooth and solid here. Uh, I don't see, it doesn't look like it has any hard stops on it, but it does have a marker and it works with 15 millimeter rails. So you can sort of clump it on. You don't have to slide it all the way through. It also comes with this other cool little I forgot what, what's the name of these, but it's, it's kind of allows you to, to manually quickly just change the focus by just you know, pushing this, this lever. It also comes with a, with a matte box, has this little hood shade, and uh, man, it looks pretty solid. It even comes with this um, microphone shock mount, which I don't think I'll be using, but, but it's here. Okay, here's our uh, main base plate and then the, the, the rail system here. Uh, it has the flags for the mat box. Comes with a nice looking top handle. Oh, comes with another one of these focus, or I guess you can use it for zoom too. Uh, uh, these little devices, I'm not even sure what they're called. Comes with a handle. one and then here's the other one comes with different different size uh, gear uh, gears for your your lenses they're not cinema style lenses but so that you can still use it with your uh, with your uh, fellow focus it comes with a nice big weight so i guess to offset you know sort of uh, to take off the, the weight so it's not just so uh, the camera's not so front heavy and i believe that's everything in this main case comes also with a little a uh, little like a strap, I think that's for the case actually. Some tools, Allen keys, things like that. Then you take this piece, put it like that, we'll just tighten it. Now I'm gonna take these, uh, basically the main base plate uh, assembly and feed the rods through there. And take this and sort of feed it in through here so that we end up uh, offset, offsetting basically the shoulder plate. So that I'm guessing it's supposed to go like this if you're you know, right-handed. All right, next thing we'll do is take these big pieces here. There's two of these and just sort of feed it in through here. And that will create sort of our cage around the camera. So, And the other one, actually, I have to take off the shoulder pad and I'll just put the other one here on the back like this. OK, so we have these two things mounted like that. I put two rods up here on the top. And that's where I can feed right away the top handle. Okay, now I'll take the other rod here, do the same thing. Okay, so we have a top handle mounted. Oh, there's a lot of these rods up here, which is a good thing. It allows you to attach a lot of accessories. So again, two more rods go here on the side. And on the back of it, I'm gonna attach this piece a little v-shaped thing and that allows us to put the, the counterweight on it and then these weights just sort of screw it into here so that should yeah that takes the weight like kind of shifts it back behind your shoulder which just makes it easier here especially since you know these cameras now are kind of they're making the, the rigs very front heavy it also comes with this little hair piece that you can mount it on any of the rails really on the top the bottom side and it literally, all, all it is, is it's an, an inactive uh, hot shoe adapter. So if you have, you know, a microphone or something that, uh, that uh, or some other accessory that, that you usually attach to the top of your, your camera, there's a hot shoe mount. And now you'll be able to attach it here to the top, which is kind of cool. I'll just put it here on the front of these top rails. Okay, now for the handles, take the shorter rods. And we're just going to feed them through here. And then attach, I think, this part here. And that allows us to attach the handles here and sort of like adjust the angle of it this way and also that way. So that's a pretty cool design. So we've got these two handles that are mounted like this now. Yeah, this is kind of how we can hold it. Now we can put the fallow focus up here. 
It's nice because it's one of those follow focus that you just kind of snap on the top. So you do not have to remove your handles to, to put them follow focus on. And you can just slide, slide the mud packs in on the front of the rails here. For the mud packs, we can put these uh, tap flag here. On this side, we'll put this flag, side one. And then the other flag here on the other side. So that pretty much, you know, finishes, I guess, the, the construction of the, of the rig itself. Now I'm going to put the camera in. Right away, what I do like about it is that I can, uh, you know, have the camera basically here right in front of me. So I can see the, the LCD of the camera, you know, and, and you know, because the, the shoulder pad kind of offsets everything to the side. So I'll just grab the, the Sony a7S and I'll mount it on this. Now to mount the camera onto the rig, you'll take the base plate, you know, just put it on there. Uh, I'm also going to use right now this uh, rocking on 24 millimeter T1.5 uh, cine lens. And, uh, you know, you should probably take off, you know, the, the strap here for the camera. But right now, just just for this quick test, I'm, uh, I'm just going to do it like this. So slide it in there. Now, the mud packs uh, has this cool thing here that you can kind of like, it's this, you know, cloth that you kind of wrap around your lens here. And that uh, makes sure that you don't have any light leaks between, between the front of your lens and the, the filters of your mud packs. Uh, the only thing is that, if, I don't know if you guys can see it here, but the mud packs is already in its lowest position, whereas the camera I put it as high as I can. Now, this is a pretty small camera, it's a Sony a7S. Uh, so maybe with other cameras you wouldn't have that problem, but with the Sony a7S, you see the problem is that the lens does not really line up. It should be, the camera should be a bit higher. And since I can't put the camera any higher or the mud packs any lower, then it's kind of useless in this, you know, the configuration because it's, you know, I, I mean, you can't use it, but ideally the lens should be like, you know, dead, dead, dead in the middle of the, of the mud packs. Uh, so I would have to use some kind of a risers or something there to, to put the camera a little bit, you know, a little bit higher. So that's one thing that sucks. This works. Follow focus works nicely. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. That's, that's how we would set up the solar rig. So... You know, it, it works, as you can see, with the, with the small camera. I mean, this is probably one of the smallest cameras we'll be using, a Sony a7S. Um, and overall, I mean, you know, the rig feels sturdy. Um, like I was saying before, I, I do like the fact that the camera is like dead in front of your, your face, so you don't have to do this, you know, to look at the, the, the LCD on the back of the camera. Uh, but then again, you know, if you're going to be using a monitor, maybe, maybe it doesn't matter if you have the camera a bit to the side, I don't know. The, the mud packs, like I said, I'm not a big fan of it simply because it, it doesn't swing away. Uh, you can't put it any lower than this. And it's, yeah, it's not the, the best material out there, but you know, if, if it's your first mud packs, you, you, you know, it will do the job. You can put in the 4x4 filters here on the top. It's like a good beginner mud packs, but if, you know, if you've worked in the film industry for a while, you probably want to upgrade later on to something a little bit better and uh, more, you know, more robust. And uh, the follow focus, it feels very smooth. And one thing that is kind of cool is they give you this quick handle here for, for the follow focus. So that does make life easier. It's a very nice sturdy handle for it. I do like the shoulder pad, very comfortable, extra weight. Like I said, sort of helps balance the camera a little bit more. Um, you know, the top handle, that seems sturdy, like it doesn't move around. So that's, that's good and well built. Also, it's cool because they have, like I said here, uh, you know, the, the, the hot shoe adapter on the, on the front that you put, but also one up here on the actual rig. And you can, you can attach it in different places here, here. So you can attach another, you know, uh, accessory to it, uh, like, a, let's say, your audio recorder or, or a microphone. Uh, so overall, I got to say that it's, you know, it's a, it's a promising rig. And, it's, and it's, if you've never had a rig, I guess, you know, uh, for your DSLR camera, uh, or, you know, you can use this with the, with the Blackmagic cameras, uh, you know, or like even Sony a7S or, uh, or, with, uh, or with the Sony FS700, for example. Uh, it does allow you, you know, there's a lot of attachment points and it has those cool little two-shoe, uh, hot-shoe uh, mounts here for your microphones and, and audio.